Many people are back home from the Christmas holiday and millions more are expected to make their trip back over the next day. Tonight our Callan Gray is at Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport to see how the travel rush is going there. Callan? Well, it is busy here tonight. Take a look at the baggage claim board, though. You can see all of these on-time arrivals. That is what travelers were hoping for today and over the next few days as they continue to come home for the holidays. Across the country today, there were just over 200 cancellations, according to FlightAware. The post-Christmas travel rush. It's been good. Has for some been its own kind of holiday gift. This has been one of the easiest years by far, for sure. So hopefully it stays that way. Well, I was shocked at actually how smooth everything went. Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport showing fewer than 20 canceled flights and roughly 100 delays going in and out as of Tuesday evening. They're pretty low for us. Weather is probably the, the number one factor in uh, what makes good travel during the holiday season. It's a lot warmer up here than we're used to. Nationally, there have been hiccups with more than 100 cancellations and more than 900 delays for Southwest Monday. 23% of its flights, according to FlightAware. But fewer than a dozen flights were affected at MSP and the airline was back on track Tuesday. A much different story than the 2022 Southwest meltdown. It seems like the organizations, the airlines and, and the, the airports are prepared for the rush. I think it's been very smooth when you look at uh, years past, especially last winter. This is airport spokesperson Jeff Lee expects more than 40,000 people to pass through security on both Tuesday and Wednesday, the peak days post Christmas. The airport is still giving travelers the chance to beat security lines in Terminal 2 by pre-booking a spot, a pilot program set to expire at the end of the year. Whether it will continue beyond that. That's what they're evaluating here at the end of the year, but it's very very promising. If you're coming down here to pick up a loved one, there is now a second waiting lot on Post Road, adding another hundred spaces for people to hang out. I should also mention that anyone trying to catch a ride share here at the airport, that is no longer on the departure levels. That's gone down to the ground level. Reporting live from MSP, Callan Gray, 5 Eyewitness News. Callan, thank you.